Hello, this is a demonstration of my application for WebGIS course number GSIN 5390. This application was made with the Web App Builder in ArcGIS Online. The red routes represent potential transmission line routes that were actually considered by an electric utility company. This project covers Grimes, Waller, and Harris County, Texas. There's a habitable structures layer or buildings which was also provided by the electric utility company. There's a wetlands layer in this application that comes from the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. A railroads layer from TINRIS, Texas Natu Natural Resources Institute. Um, Harris County, Grimes County, and Waller County land parcels, which comes from the appraisal district of each respective county, and there's also a county boundary layer. This application is using the imagery base map since uh, land features like vegetation is important for siting new transmission lines. The habitable structures is given a house symbol and uh, since there's so many the visibility range has been set so you need to zoom in to see the habitable structures. You can also see the parcels showing up by the yellow polygons. There's a few railroads but not many along this route. The parcels layer, you can look at the attribute table. And it's filtering by my map extent. Okay. So this this data has been stripped of some for uh, demonstration purposes. And normally you would see the owner's name and the mailing address. But for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm only showing uh, an arbitrary name of the owners. The purpose of this application is for an electric transmission company to find the properties that are crossed by a potential transmission line route. So the tool that I will use for this demonstration is drawing a proposed transmission line I will use the draw widget and the polyline drawing tool and then I will draw a route that I would like to analyze the line has been added as an operational layer now I will go to the analysis widget and use the create buffers tool. Using the line that I just created, I will use a 50 foot buffer. One hundred feet would be a typical width for a transmission line easement. so. 50 feet I'm using since uh, the buffer is from the center line of the of the line that I drew. This buffer tool should succeed and the buffer would automatically be added to my map. Next I will use the buffer that I just created and I want to extract the parcels that are intersected by the buffer. So I want to intersect uh, extracting from Waller County and use the parcels that are intersecting the buffer. I could also clip them if I wanted to. I will export this as a shape file to my content. While this is loading, I can go through all the widgets 
there's a select widget which will allow you to select any layer in the map such as the parcels, the habitable structures, wetlands, or these potential routes and export them. The screening widget I believe this allows you to add or draw in a, a line just like I did before and it will output the details of other layers that you're analyzing. Here's my legend of um, the layers I created just now and then the beginning layers which is the routes, habitable structures, wetlands, railroads, and then my three county parcel layers. I have added the the base map switching widget of course my layer list the add data tool which can connect to uh, my content in ArcGIS online or my desktop the draw widget and the analysis widget which is um, running at the moment Once this tool has executed, it will create a shapefile of the parcels that are within the line that I just drew. I believe this is the data that was uh, exported right now which I can publish and once it's published it will be available to be added to my map I believe it's named extract this one so here are the parcels that were selected by the route that I drew This would be the list of landowners that the electric transmission company would need to contact for easements for building a proposed transmission line. And as I've shown, there are several widgets included in this app that can be used to uh, draw lines and extract data as needed. But the main purpose of the map is to select the land parcels and then extracts uh, the landowner list as a table or a shapefile.